We would now like to start the industry and distribution business. Let me explain the presenter. Vice President and Executive Officer, CEO of Industry and Distribution Business Unit, Mr. Jun Abe. Good morning. I became the CEO of Industry and Distribution Business Unit in April. Thank you very much. I would like to talk about the overview and the strategy of Industry and Distribution Business Strategy. This is the summary of my key point today. Fiscal year 2018, revenue 633 billion yen, adjusted operating income 46.5 billion yen, ratio 7.3%, EBIT 41.1 billion yen, 6.5%, and overseas revenue ratio 13%. Revenue and overseas revenue ratio at the beginning of midterm, medium term, uh, it is a slight decline from fiscal year 2015. This is because of the structural reform. Now, adjusted operating income in EBIT, uh, the structural reform, and the profitability improvement in digital led to this number. Now, my mission is twofold. One is to withdraw from the remaining one low profit business in the Middle East, and second is to launch the digital business. Fiscal year 2018 plan will be achieved. Uh, even without growth of revenue, we want to generate profit. So we want to strengthen ourselves, become profitable, and lay the foundation for the next growth uh, stage. Now, this is the positioning of industry and distribution business. As Mr. Aoki mentioned earlier, so it's uh, industry, distribution, and aftermarket will be clinked will be linked, and management and worksite will also be linked. And by doing so, we will offer high-value-added services. Recently, uh, there has been a shift from individual optimization to total optimization. In this flow of offering more value to customers, uh, we are uh, fulfilling our important role. Now, this is the megatrend, not just Japan. But on a global basis, the working age population is decreasing. So automation and the know-how of skilled workers uh, is being digitalized. And analytics, AI, the state of art, technology is now being used more prominently. In Hitachi Group, the in order to build the sustainable society, uh, Japan has Society 5.0, and the digitalization flow is seen around the world. And so through our social innovation business, Hitachi would like to offer digital solution to resolve customers' challenges with the customers. In addition, SDGs is in becoming more important, so we want to contribute to SDGs. Next is our business portfolio. Sales and profit are shown here. Our industry equipment solutions and core business and growing business. In these three categories, we are managing our business. The ratio is around 262. That is the breakdown. Now for the industrial equipment solutions, the overseas plans, uh, we are withdrawing from large overseas plant, taking countermeasures there. And with that, we have been improving our product uh, profitability. For core business and growing business, we are improving our profitability. Uh, this will be explained in the next slide. This is the midterm management plan progress. Fiscal year 2017, revenues 620 billion, so it was a slight decline year on year. On the other hand, adjusted operating income was 2.7 percent, so it was a 2.9 percentage point improvement. EBIT ratio is 0.5 percent, so this was 1.1 percentage point improvement. 
Now, the results from fiscal year 2017, growing business, we utilized Lumada to expand the digital solution business. We used Omica Works' highly efficient production model as the solution core. As you see on the right side, fiscal year 2017, Lumada, 43% is in industry and distribution business. For SI business, uh, we are reinforcing project management and developing the human resources. Project manager human resources being developed. In the industry equipment solutions, together with structural reform, Hitachi Plant Services consolidated industrial equipment business to Hitachi Plant Services to strengthen our mid-scale business. So this is the structural reform we conducted. On the other hand, the results from fiscal year 2017 uh, fell short of the initial forecast. And the reason is structural reform, and there are two reasons. One is growing business, uh, digital solutions business, profitability is still suf insufficient. I will elaborate on this later. Another reason was SI business profitability. There's still lost cost. Uh, we are conducting phase gate management, but before taking orders, the pre-order phase gate management is now being reinforced. So through these countermeasures, our forecast for fiscal year 18, compared to the earlier target, we have revised downward, but this is our target now that we will aim for. Next is the business strategy. Our basic policy is uh, expansion of digital solution business and globalization. Our Hitachi strength is R&D and advanced manufacturing capabilities and experiences and wide, broad customer base. These are Hitachi's strengths. The uh, focus on industry and distribution business is two. One is how we can scale our business, and the other is Uh, establish more uh, profitable and valuable solutions. Now, scaling and profitability. On these two points, let me talk about some actions we are taking. First is scaling. We will increase target customers. Uh, through collaboration with group companies, uh, the mid-sized companies uh, will be approached more. The individual company, uh, we had large companies with sales of over 500 billion yen, and under that was mid-sized companies. Of course, we had sales collaboration, but basically uh, the individual companies had their account, and group companies uh, worked on the group solutions. Going forward, group companies will work as one team, especially on digital solutions, utilizing Lumada Solution Core. Uh, we will work as one team to so, uh, offer this. We will support the growing companies as one group. And furthermore, for overseas, as you can see here, we will collaborate with overseas group companies to develop overseas business. For example, as Shiotsuka-san said earlier, Hitachi, Hitachi Ventara, uh, digital teams. Uh, there are about 20 members came to Omika Works and spent two weeks uh, looking at the work sites. Not just Omika Works, but Tsuda and other surrounding works were uh, visited to discuss and strategize and discuss uh, the digital strategy. So we are uh, focusing on scaling our customers. That's point number one. Next, globalization. One more point. Our focus is Asia and North America. Asia. For example, in China, uh, we ha have the uh, 2.2025 and Thailand 4.0. So there are digital uh, efforts made in each country. Uh, and the special economic zone and financial incentives are tailwind for us. And so in China and Southeast Asia, Japanese companies in these countries 
we will offer digital solutions to Japanese companies' plants. When our customers visit our factories, Japanese mother uh, plant is there, but uh, in Taiwan, Shenzhen, Guangzhou, uh, customers ask us to do those Asian plants too. Uh, the size is four times bigger, and the facility is new. So I think it's impactful. Those are the inquiries we receive from Japanese companies. So we want to work with them to develop our business. For North America, maintenance and repair. As mentioned earlier, Salier and Penske, uh, we will promote collaborative creation. Next is smart manufacturing, multiplication. Omika Works, a customer visit to Omika Works is now increasing. And the solutions that customers want are now being used as solution and uh, made into a template uh, so that we can produce products. Of course, we will work on the internal products, but Okuma, Daisel, and Daikin, uh, through collaborative creation, uh, we are now laying the foundation of digital foundation. Now, FM, PM, uh, in IoT in Japan, uh, the market is very large, and it's a 14% growth. So we want to focus on this area. Next is another smart manufacturing partnering. On the left side, you can see Okuma example. This is the machine tool manufacturer, B2B2B business de deployment. First step, Okuma's first plant uh, was made into a smart plant. And so visualization of the work site and product production optimization. The users use Alkuma's machine tool. Uh, they have 1,000 customers. So we worked with Alkuma to provide to their customers and, uh, and make this a value-added, scalable service. In the right side, this is business development starting from products. Aoki-san already talked about this, so I will skip. And last point on scaling. This is ERP solution, using IT as a starting point. SAP, S4 HANA, business is very strong. And customers, in order to maximize the investment efficiency and impact, they want the visualization of the entire operation, entire plant, and they say Hitachi can do this. So uh, we link with the worksite using IT on a one-stop fashion to optimize the entire work site, the plant. So this is one of the examples. Next is profitability improvement. First is China. Uh, this is providing a manufacturing logistic platform, uh, how to offer value-added uh, services in on the platform. From 2014, China has started smart logistics, smart distribution. TWX is the procurement EDI service that we have. This EDI service and Hitachi Logistics uh, and Hitachi High Technologies and Hitachi Capital uh, procurement inventory were combined to complete this smart logistics from 2014. Smart manufacturing solution is combined. The procured goods logistics to design, manufacturing, and the product logistics and maintenance, this overall value chain. We want to offer more added value on the total optimization basis to our customers. And through this, we want a more profitable service. Next is maintenance and repair after service, including our customers and ourselves. We think we can have a higher va added value service. And the market is large, and that is why we are doing this.
Uh, there is a case where uh, the product is repaired once but comes back again, or the part uh, replaced was not a perfect fit. So uh, even the not well-experienced worker can improve the work uh, quality. So Sollier in the U.S. and uh, in Japan, uh, we will start working on this in Japan and abroad. And lastly, this is the quality and safety data analysis and verification services. This is drawing attention in the society. Uh, the quality assurance structure uh, is becoming a challenge for customers. Hitachi Group uh, for the drug uh, manufacturer, the FDA regulation is, str is stringent. And so Hitachi is doing validation. We check whether it meets the regulation. We've been doing this consultation for a long time. And so now we are deploying this to other industries from uh, design, manufacturing, inspection, selling, maintenance. In this overall flow, uh, we take evidence and traceability and then visualize and analyze and use this for added service. Uh, we assure quality and product, product assurance and the work quality assurance. So this will become a recurring digital service. Uh, this is how we want to build a value-added and profitable service. Next is cost strategy. For SGNA, we are trying to improve the front line, front office. And this is uh, uh, smart manufacturing and engineering. Uh, the front line is very important. And so we are securing people and training the head, head, human resources and also improving the efficiency of the value chain as a whole. And for gross margin, gross profit, we are trying to reduce loss cost. And as I mentioned earlier, we are trying to improve the added value and profitability. And cash generation, CCC, looks like this. Uh, so this is the company-wide Hitachi smart transformation efforts. Uh, as industry and distribution business unit, we are focusing on this as well. And lastly, summary. Fiscal year 2017, this is a waterfall chart, revenues, and adjusted operating income. Uh, together with the structural reform from fiscal year 2017, digital solutions and our uh, mid-size uh, facility solutions uh, will be combined so that we can increase our income. Now, as I mentioned at the outset, this is the fiscal year 2018 target. Numbers look like this, and we are committed to achieve this target. This is my mission. And in parallel, towards next midterm management plan, uh, we will transform to high profitable service business models. Uh, this industry distribution business is unlike infrastructure business. The business environment changes very rapidly, and the time frame is very quick and short. Changes are radical. So we want to use our group-wide capability to imp become more competitive. Customers have similar challenges. And so in the industry and in digital business, digitalization speed is very quick. So our business unit We'll work on IT and facilities and products. We will lead uh, these areas in the overall value chain. This is the role we are given. So we will lead the digital solution of Hitachi Group. That is all from me. Thank you very much. So we will uh, take questions. So in addition to Mr. Abe, CFO of Industry and Water Business Administration Division, Mr. Hashimoto, and CSO and CLO of Industry and Distribution Business Unit, uh, Mr. Kazunobu Morita, will also answer the questions. When you ask questions, the staffs will bring the microphone. So please state your name and the company. Any questions, please? So center row, fifth from the front, please. Thank you very much. Question, page 29. Appendix, you can see domestic IoT market size. 
So the industry and distribution business that you just mentioned, uh, you said the, uh, the assembly and design, manufacturing, you're strong in that, I understand. But in this revenue, retail or transportation, and uh, how big is that? I don't understand your strength in these areas very well. And I understand you're good with large companies, but the midsize and SMEs, uh, the uh, actions are different from large companies. So SMEs and mid-size companies and transportation and retail, retail uh, revenue size, what does it look like now? Could you elaborate? And CCC, cash conversion cycle, uh, is up from 55 to 65 days. Uh, is this because of portfolio changes or any uh, unique one-off circumstances? Answer. So three questions. First was uh, the business size of the transportation and retail. This is not just but in the industry and distribution business. Also, products and other divisions are working on distribution. And so it's difficult to have a direct answer. But in our digital solution, including value-added services, the size is around 10 billion yen. Now, this retail is one, but uh, analytics services that raise revenue, uh, including that, it is still small. We have Hitachi Logistics and Yamato Transport. And in Thailand, uh, we have Thai Cost, a channel. Thai post. And so this is our capability. In our industry and distribution business unit, in the distribution category, the biggest focus is smart logistics, as I mentioned in the example in China. So that is our focus. Now, large companies and mid to small size companies. Omika works. I was in Omika plant until March, and there are various types of customers. I visited customers' plants too, and the sales vary from large to small. In Thai, Vietnam, China plants, I visited them all. With large and mid-sized customers, especially the growing mid-sized customers, are are not able to do everything. So it seems that we can offer services for them uh, because the growing companies are busy with their main line of business and so they cannot do everything and they come, us, come to us for help. So industry distribution business and OT and IT type companies, for example, Hitachi High Tech Solutions and Hitachi Plant Services. Uh, there are many group companies that are doing industry business, so we collaborate with them to work on those accounts, uh, mid-sized companies, and offer solutions to them. So including scaling, I think we have opportunity. Now, the deterioration of CCC. One is uh, from this structural reform. So what is the optimal level? We think around 60 days is optimal. Uh, there are many IT facilities, so it's hard to say, but it's declining slightly. So fiscal year 18 will increase a bit, but uh, we will try to be around 60 days. Question. So in SMEs and mid-sized companies, the revenue is not that large yet, and there is still room for growth? Answer. Facilities or the mission critical systems. Each group is working on this. On the other hand, in terms of digital, uh, there's a big potentiality, digital solutions. So what I mentioned earlier has big potentiality. Question. So customers, I think you divide customers by industry. So what I could not understand was on page 29, retail. How much, how big is this? In the past, Hitachi Logistics was a group company. Uh, but now uh, it is deconsolidated. 
Hitachi Transport. And so what is the structure? So uh, you said distribution has the biggest room for growth. So Hitachi High Tech and uh, Hitachi uh, distribution as a whole. What is the revenue and what is the latest status? If you could give us an explanation on a later date. Yes, revenue is rising. So yes, it is now deconsolidated, uh, Hitachi Transport. But yes, so we will explain this again on a bit later date. Next question, please. A question regarding uh, digital solutions. I have uh, three questions. The first question uh, was is regarding uh, the uh, the point you made to, uh, toward the latter part of your presentation regarding uh, revenues as well as uh, operating income and uh, analysis. Now, according to the forecast last year. For uh, this fiscal year, uh, digital solution expansion and uh, increase in uh, revenue of uh, 8.9 billion was mentioned, but it seems lower compared to uh, last year. And uh, you're saying that the uh, Lomada is good, uh, orders received uh, is very good. But uh, compared to that, it doesn't uh, sit well for me in terms of the explanation given. Uh, please elaborate. And uh, what about the profit side impact? Um, and it seems uh, uh, the impact is larger compared to uh, the impact from uh, increased revenue. Please elaborate. Question number two is regarding uh, overseas business. The Japanese market uh, is where uh, the uh, customer's needs are listened to and uh, making that into a core product uh, to be uh, sold to other customers. But uh, what about uh, in the overseas market? Uh, are you adopting a similar method? Perhaps a package uh, will increase speed. It might be more acceptable for uh, overseas customers. Please elaborate uh, on your view on this matter. Let me confirm once again. Question number three. Regarding uh, the competitive environment uh, in the domestic market, the plant's IOT was mentioned. This is uh, an area where Hitachi had advantage from the past. In the past one year, has there been changes you have uh, identified? And other companies uh, are uh, calling for uh, digitalization as well. What is your understanding uh, on the competitive landscape? Answer. Uh, regarding uh, the digital uh, revenue and uh, uh, income or profitability will be explained. In terms of uh, revenue, uh, that uh, includes digital as well. So uh, room for um, growth uh, may seem limited. It is rather conservative numbers. But uh, within the digital uh, solutions, we have to make sure uh, that uh, we generate profit. Uh, uh, the process uh, as well as the mechanism to generate profit is very important. Uh, once uh, we uh, establish a package, uh, it cannot scale up. Uh, consulting, engineering, as well as connectivity uh, with uh, IT uh, is necessary as well. So we have to go through the necessary steps uh, so that the solution core can be established. And uh, we have to make that uh, uh, further uh, sophisticated as well. Further enhancement uh, will always be required. And therefore, within the digital solutions, uh, such a mechanism will have to be established. For the Lumada business overall, uh, Lumada SI uh, is different to Lumada Core. So individual uh, transactions are being uh, promoted uh, in terms of uh, increasing revenues. I hope I have been able to answer your question. Question. In terms of uh, information telecommunication, uh, you are contributing to revenue. 
but uh, not uh, reflected in these numbers. Is that uh, what you are saying? And so that is not necessarily the case. Uh, in industrial uh, and distribution, IT is included uh, in that area. It is reflected accordingly. You talked about uh, 50 billion digital solution, uh, business expansion, and uh, revenue uh, impact uh, was mentioned. But why is it smaller? Now, uh, answer, it takes time. The third question uh, can also be responded to as well. In digital solutions uh, to be developed means that uh, trial and error will be required in order to enhance scale as well as enhancing revenue. Uh, we'll have and uh, also identifying uh, the uh, challenges of the customers uh, are areas that require time. So uh, enhancing scale is something that uh, we are struggling with and uh, other companies uh, are also going through a similar trial and error process. Please clarify your second question. Uh, question. Uh, in the overseas market, Lumata, uh, as well as uh, core IT uh, to be developed, uh, is it uh, a similar approach uh, to domestic customers? Uh, in the domestic market, uh, you're making proposals uh, to customers uh, one by one and uh, to establish a core ID system. But uh, this will require time. And perhaps for the overseas customers, a package uh, may be more acceptable or standard format uh, uh, is more amenable uh, to uh, overseas customers. That's what I imagine. So I would like to clarify the view of Tachi on this matter. And so, yes, you are right. Uh, packaging uh, is very important, or solution core, or template uh, are the expressions that we use. Uh, we make this into a tangible product to be provided to customers overseas. Because manufacturing know-how in Japan, as well as products and o operation know-how, are areas of strength uh, for the Japanese industry. Uh, so uh, we will approach Japanese customers uh, first and foremost. And then we will enhance scale thereafter for uh, deployment uh, overseas. Question, what about uh, the competitive landscape? Answer. You mean uh, compared to digital activities of other companies? That's fine, thank you. Any other questions? Center row, second from the front. Question. I have one question. So other companies are talking about edge computing and edge solutions. But in Hitachi, in this global uh, mega trend, uh, you're working with preferred networks and FANUC. Where is it now? How has it progressed in your industry and distribution business? How is this positioned in your business? Now, I think you have started a consortium with HCROSS in the, uh, November 2016. One month later, you joined the consortium. So edge. Uh, to edge, uh, uh, to pos possible de facto, you are in both. So how is this positioned in your industry and distribution business? Uh, the current status and, and your efforts uh, from edge computing point of view and its relationship with Lumada, please. So one question, please. Answer. Edge cross. The way AI is used is not only in cloud, but also in edge near real time, not just robot. So for especially for a robot, we are working with FANOC. So this is one important collaborative creation area. So we are using the FANUX capability and work together. And the progress, I am not in the position to talk about the progress, so I would like to have this announcement on a later date. Now, Edge Cross is a bit different. 
it's the different field. Edge, like IT, is open connection, like standardization, standardization and open is very important. And so this is part of that initiative. So we are part of the board member to, uh, as a vendor focusing on Edge Cross so that we can lead this together. Does this answer your question? Question. So edge computing and your Lumada. Lumada is more upstream, but when you offer a solution to customers works, uh, if you only have one, it is not enough. So this edge and upstream Lumada, uh, your initiatives and your, uh, what are you doing? Answer, edge has not just robots, but cameras and sensors and many others. And camera, analog meter reading camera. Oh, security can be ensured without piping uh, and deal with less a number of operators. So from Hope Appliance days, we have had that kind of camera. This is our strength in edge, edge controlling, edge control is one area. We have been doing autonomous distributed uh, technology for a long time. In rail and power, uh, we have been using this technology. And in Omega Works, we used autonomous distributed technology to set up our own system. Of course, uh, reliability is important in IT, but if edge stops, then factory stops. So it has to be highly reliable. So edge has to be reliable and the system, the autonomous distributed uh, functioning is very important. So this is our big competitive edge and our competitiveness. So we'll take uh, one more question and before we close. Question. Uh, I have one uh, large question regarding profitability. For the low profitable business, my understanding is that uh, overseas uh, uh, is equal to um, measure IBC overseas. How many, much is that, and how long will it take to resolve uh, this uh, issue? And that's my first question. Now, I understand that uh, um, SGNA is likely to increase because uh, um, uh, advanced uh, investment uh, will be required. How long will this phase uh, continue? Uh, is it going to continue for the next three years, or will it uh, uh, run its course? Uh, please respond. Answer regarding low profitable business. Uh, you have rightly mentioned it's a major uh, plant uh, overseas, and that is overseas, uh, and uh, measures will continue into fiscal year 2018. Currently, uh, construction has been completed to the level of 93 percent, uh, therefore, uh, the end is close. Uh, to uh, bring this to a close uh, it will be an important mission for us uh, last month. I went to uh, the Middle East and uh, confirmed uh, the progress. And we would like to uh, bring this to a uh, close uh, within this year. Uh, regarding SGNA, uh, we are trying to uh, strengthen the front side. Uh, therefore, it is likely that the current level will continue going forward. Uh, but uh, we will make sure to generate profit uh, this year, and uh, when formulating the next midterm management plan, we would uh, like to have uh, uh, the direction clarified for uh, reducing SGNA. Uh, inclusive of uh, M and A activities, uh, we will give you further details uh, uh, down the road. A question, follow-up. Uh, regarding uh, low profitability business, you said that uh, it will come to an end uh, this uh, year. So does that mean uh, next uh, IRD, uh, next year, uh, there will no 
no longer be any more um, uh, low profit business uh, because I said that uh, for the plant business uh, uh, we have reached 93% level, uh, so we will not uh, uh, expand increase this further. With this, we'd like to bring uh, this session to a close. Thank you very much.